During your placement, you will be assigned a to-do list to complete. This is a list of specific assignments your program will enable for you. This list may include patient logs, where you will record detailed information about your patient encounters. To add patient logs, click on the View All Coursework button in the My Coursework section of the New Student Dashboard. If you are using the old student dashboard, click on the Coursework section. You can also navigate to the Coursework section by clicking on the upper left-hand hamburger icon and selecting the Coursework option. If you would like to switch from the new student dashboard to the old student dashboard, deactivate the new dashboard bit at the top of the page. If you would like to switch to the new student dashboard from the old student dashboard, activate the switch to new bit at the top of the page. Within the coursework section, your current placements will be at the top of the list. Click on View Details in the Action column of the placement you would like to manage. You will then navigate to this placements page. You can also navigate to a specific placement page from the new student dashboard by selecting a specific placement from the My Placements timeline and clicking on the View Placement Details hyperlink. You will be taken to the Course Activities tab, where you will find a pre-designated patient log section. Here you can view information on the logs you have entered as well as the status assigned to each of your logs. Click the plus icon at the top of the page to add a new patient log. A drawer will open up, which you will complete. In the clinical notes section, describe the patient encounter. Then select the experiential supervisor who supervised the encounter. If you have not yet added an experiential supervisor, click on the Add Experiential Supervisor button and provide the necessary information in the newly opened form. The date of the encounter will automatically populate to the current day, but this could always be changed. You can change the date by clicking on the calendar icon and selecting the specific day of your encounter. You are required to populate all of the fields which are marked with a red asterisk before you can submit your log. After filling out the patient demographics, you will then fill out the visit information, which denotes the type of clinical experience you participated in on this date. You will then provide the amount of time you spent with the patient and the amount of time you spent consulting with your experiential supervisor. You will also provide the reason for your patient's visit. In the diagnosis section, you will provide an ICD code. As you begin to type a code or keyword, a drop-down will appear presenting options for you to select from. You will then make your selection, and the system will register that code. If you need to remove any selections you have previously made, simply click on the trash bin icon. You may also have a procedure section, which is similar to the diagnosis section. Go ahead and start typing, a list will again appear for you to select from. You will then indicate how you were involved with that procedure. Lastly, you will have a section for any additional encounter details. This is where you may add any medications your patient was prescribed. You can also provide details on patient adherence and patient social problems if needed. Once you are done, you can go ahead and submit. If you are not ready yet, you could always save your progress and return to it later. Saved patient logs will be assigned the in-progress status. Submitted patient logs will be assigned the pending review status. Submitted patient logs will then be reviewed by your faculty or program administrator. If your faculty approves of your log it will be assigned approved. As your program reviews your patient logs, they may request additional information. If this is the case, they will mark your log as needs attention. You will see a number here and you can go ahead and click on that to view those logs. You can then open that log by clicking the log ID and any school feedback will be listed at the top of the form. Please make these necessary edits and resubmit the form once you are done. If you would like to delete any pending review or in-progress patient log, you can do so by clicking on the log ID then clicking on the delete hyperlink at the top of the log page. Please note that you will not be able to delete any needs attention or approved patient logs. If you are seeing patients where the majority of the patient log remains the same, you can create a template to save time. To do this click on the Create Template option, and a drawer will open with any previously created templates. If you would like to start a new one, simply click on the Add New Template button. You will provide your template with a name and make your desired selections on the form. Once you are done, you can go ahead and save it. The next time you create a patient log, you will then have this template to select from the drop-down list. Click on the total number of logs to view all of the patient logs added to this course. At the top of the page, you can view your total number of logs and the number of logs assigned each specific status. 
To send your submitted entries for experiential supervisor review, click on the Send for Review button. A list of the experiential supervisors assigned to your pending review patient logs will be displayed along with the number of patient logs assigned to them. Please note that you will need to have at least one pending review patient log assigned to an experiential supervisor in order to send logs for review. Once you are ready, click on the Send button. An email will then be sent out containing a link where the experiential supervisor can access and review your sent patient logs. We offer a quick and easy way to add patient logs from the new student dashboard. Navigate to your dashboard and select the placement you would like to add logs from the My Placements timeline. In the Patient Log section you can view your total number of logs submitted in the placement and the number of approved and needs attention patient logs. Click on the Add Patient Log button to add a new patient log. You can also click on the calendar icon to the right of the Add Patient Log button to view the dates of submitted patient logs. Within the system, there is also a statistics report to help you review your patient logs. To view this, click on the statistics icon within the Course Activities tab of a placements page. You can use this statistics report to review your patient logs by rotation and setting to ensure you are meeting your program's requirements. As you begin additional placements, you can review them across the clinical year to make sure you are meeting your graduation requirements. For specific details on graduation requirements, please refer to your educational program. Please note that your statistics report is updated only once daily and updates may not reflect instantly. Additionally, there are a few other reports you can run on patient logs. To run patient log reports, navigate to the Learning Activities section by clicking on the View Learning Activities hyperlink from the new student dashboard. If you are using the old student dashboard, select the Learning Activities option. You can also navigate to the Learning Activities section by clicking on the upper left-hand hamburger menu and selecting the Learning Activities option. Once you are within the Learning Activities section, click on the Reports tab. Within the Reports tab, there will be a list of reports you can run on your submitted learning activities. For each report, you can check which learning activity the report is related to using the module column, and you can view a description of the report in the description column. Please keep in mind that this list of reports may change based on your discipline and your school's preferences. You will have access to the Patient Log Aggregate Report and the Patient Log Raw Data Report in addition to the previously demonstrated Statistics Report. The Patient Log Aggregate Report empowers you to monitor your patient log counts and track your logging experiences throughout your courses. You can take ownership of your learning by proactively using this report to ensure you are meeting all necessary benchmarks and logging requirements on time. To run the Patient Log Aggregate Report, click on the corresponding reports hyperlink. You will then need to click on the Select Course Offerings button to indicate the course offerings you would like to run the report on. You can search for specific courses by course number using the search box. To change the type of the search box click on the drop down to the left of the box. You can then search by course name, academic year, professional year, term or cohort. To filter the courses, click on the filter icon. You can then filter the courses by cohort, academic year or term. Select the courses you would like to run the report on. If you would like to select all of the courses, check the box in the upper left-hand corner of the page. After you have made your selections, click on the Apply button. You will then configure the report. Please note that other patient log reports may not have the same configuration options. First, indicate which patient log template is used in your selected courses by clicking on the Patient Log Template drop-down and selecting a template. Indicate which rotations you would like to include in the report by clicking on the rotation drop-down. For example, if you would only like to view aggregate patient log data for the Grad Course 2 rotation, select this rotation and leave the others unselected. You can then do the same for settings, patient log status, site, and location. To run this report on logs submitted between specific dates, click on the calendar icon in the From Date section to select a From Date. Then click on the calendar icon in the To Date section to select a date. In the Group By section, indicate how you would like to group the aggregation of data. For example, if you were placed in different courses in the same setting, you may want to aggregate your patient log data by setting and then by course. This way you can view the total aggregate patient log data for each setting and break this down further by course. Once you are done, click on the Generate Report button. The report will then be loaded below. 
you can view the number of times you selected specific options on your patient logs, aggregated by your predefined criteria. Scroll right to navigate through all of the patient log options. This is useful to ensure you are conducting enough of the necessary types of treatments to ensure you are meeting your program's graduation requirements. You can download this report and share it with your experiential supervisors to receive feedback on your actual patient exposure and progress. You can also leverage the data from the patient log aggregate report to highlight your patient exposure and experiences for future employment opportunities and include it in your ePortfolio. To download the patient log aggregate report, click on the export icon to the right of the generate button. Lastly, you can use the raw data report to view all of your added patient logs according to your desired criteria. To run this report, navigate to the reports tab of the learning activities section and select the patient log raw data report. You will then need to select the courses that you would like to run the report on and configure the report options. If your program uses multiple patient log templates, you will first need to click on the template name dropdown and select the desired template. You can only run the report on the patient logs of one patient log template at a time. After this you will need to select the rotations, settings, statuses, sites, and locations that you would like included in the report. After you have configured the report, click on the Generate Report button. In the table below there will be a row for each log entry. You can view the course for which the log was added, placement information, and the patient log information. You can scroll right to view all the options selected on each patient log. If you would like to download this report in the Excel format, click on the download icon. Click on the view log button to open your log in a new tab and update any information as necessary. Thank you for watching our completing patient logs tutorial. Please take the time to check out our other useful XAP Prism tutorials.